Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram and welcome to a floss tube extra. Um, today is Sunday, the 22nd of October, 2023. Um, I just got back from my grandma's 90th birthday and it was, it's been a long day, <laughs> but my Black Needle Society Halloween box is here. Um, open it if you dare. I love this packaging. This packaging is amazing. How phenomenal is it? Um, I do apologize if my voice goes a little bit funny. I'm under the weather. Um, unfortunately I'm a bit sick, but it is what it is. I have already sliced the tape and we're going to open now. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> Things that amuse my tiny mind. Okay. Ooh, this is different. Okay, look. Oh, everything's stuck together. Blood wormies. <laughs> like regular worms. But red. <laughs> um, you can sit there. Okay. Oh, okay, this is this is so exciting. So I got the trick box. Um, there are two boxes for Halloween. There is the trick box and the treat box. My go-to is the trick box. Last year I got both. This week, this year I'm like, oh, okay, maybe you should not get both. Um, so I got the trick, the trick box. Um, as always, there's our spoiler card. There is a lovely note. From Katie and Laura from the Black Needle Society. The current on sale box is Something Wicked This Way Comes, and this is the 2024 Novels and Needles box, and it's a villain theme. Seriously, get it. I have already bought it. I cannot wait for this box. Um, so the box contains stitching and lifestyle items included, inspired by fandoms and characters, which include, but are not limited to. It's focusing on the card, not me. Uh, the Count of Monte Cristo, Loki, Snow White, and Sleeping Beauty. Oh my God, Loki. <laughs> okay, excuse me, Liz, rein it in. Um, so they will remain on sale until the 31st of October or until sold out. So if you've been thinking about it and you're watching this before the 31st of October, go, go purchase, purchase one. Um, I need to adjust my chair a little bit because I'm a bit, sitting a bit high. It was a bit too close to the camera. Um, and then there is also stitch and stream information on the back, um, which is 13 movies and TV shows. Um, we recommend for you to watch this October. Okay, whilst I have gotten the trick box, I don't do horror, <laughs> which I know people think is a bit weird, but it is what it is. Um, and then the photo, um, the photos on the back are from last year's trick box, or it was Athena's box of horrors. Um, so it's Lit Stitcher. I'm not even going to attempt, attempt to pronounce the middle one, and Athena, um, who is Stitching Goddess Designs on the YouTubes. All right, let us. <coughs> jump into this box i'm gonna grab the first thing on the top because it's on the top a different type of popping not like our original really satisfying popping but still so this is the thing needle minder by world rainbow co stitching will be a snap with this handy exclusive thing needle minder ready to assist with holding onto your needle while changing colors inspired by the adams family I love this. So, so cute. I do. I have seen the treat unboxing. I saw Cece's unboxing. I need the needle minder from the, the, <laughs> the treat box. It's beautiful. Anyway, I love that. Um, okay. Oh. I'm going to say is the sticker. <laughs> if you watch my previous unboxing, is the sticker on this on the floss? Oh my god, I can't really smell very well at the moment. Oh, I like that. Okay, 
this is the black flame candle um this is made by the black needle society don't worry this candle's flame won't be bringing any witches back from the dead for some hocus pocus but we hope you enjoy its musky autumn night scent um it is i love the label um this smells so so nice so as i do with all of my black needle candles they go on my shelf they don't get burned no one's like burn them they're just for display um all righty oh more food thingies for ross um okay i've literally literally never heard of this before beer cheese i don't know what beer cheese is um so this is et's beer cheese popcorn kit made by carrie lee's specialties Enjoy some beer on movie night like E.T., but we recommend this beer cheese flavored popcorn instead so you don't actually in accidentally inebriate Elliot during science class. Um, listen, <laughs> Ross has not even had the previous popcorn because I still haven't made it for him, which I'm sure he's got something to say about it. Um, but this is rainbow popcorn and seasoning. Um, what do you need? Melted butter. Interesting. More popcorn that I probably will not make for us. He'll get up one day. Um, all right. We have an ominous red bag. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Yay! It goes with my other ones. I love these. I love these. So this is a um this is thread jewelry and I love this these themings that the black needle does with these. So this is what it looks like. Um this is the stitch and scream thread jewelry designed by the Black Needle Society. Uh, you never know where your favorite horror villains may appear. They may even appear at your favorite local needle workshop. Inspired by Ghostface from Scream, Psycho, and Lucifer Morningstar from Sabrina. Oh my god, me and my eyeballs. Oh, they're in... The I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it with the glare, but like they're in the, the door. That is so cool. I love, so I've got a few of these now. There's a flamingo one and I'm pretty sure there was one for Halloween last year as well. I've only got three. I'm pretty sure there's another one that I missed out on, but I love these. Oh my God, I can't, oh, I love that. I love that. So cute, so, so cute. Um, all right, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> Oh my god, I cracked me up. Um, this is the Ghostbusters iron-on patch. This is made by Pyramid International. Are you ready to bust some ghosts, grab a jumpsuit, an iron on this patch, or attach it to a jacket, or even a project bag made of plain quilting fabric? Uh, that's actually a genius idea. Hmm, maybe I need to make a new project bag. <laughs> I love that, that's cute. Um, okay. I don't do horror. I don't do horror films. I said this before, but my niece has a little bit of an obsession with this movie slash this character. She's five years old. <laughs> She's going to love this. Me, he freaks me out a lot. <laughs> and that is Chucky. Um, so this is um, Friends Till the End. Um, three inch square artwork is by Abby Malaga art. Get your needle ready to stab that fabric. Like your good friend, Chucky lay this square in the corner of your fab fabric to measure in three inches or use the holes to measure in two inches or two and a half. So, so scary. I love these though. I love the, when the black needle gives us, um, squares. I have one in my cart just behind me. And I have one next to me on my desk because you can never have enough. They, I'm going to put him face down over there because he's scary. <coughs> Sorry.
Sorry, guys. All right. Oh, oh, fancy bags. I love these. I keep these. If you heard that, that was my stomach, and I apologize. I have eaten. Um, oh, they're stuck. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> they're like little VHSs. <laughs> so, so freaking cute. Um, uh, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? This is the horror video thread card set. Artwork is by Kitster Kronk. Um, we found a new use for our favorite horror film franchise VHS tapes. We turn them into thread cards. Enjoy this fun and spooky set of 10 VHS cards. So we have Scream. <laughs> we have The Blair Witch Project. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, I love this purple. Actually, I have seen this horror film. <laughs> Things I've seen. Saw, I have not seen and I will not see. Friday the 13th. I'm 90% sure I haven't seen. Insidious, I've never even heard of this. <laughs> the Conjuring, there is absolutely no way. <laughs> Paranormal Activity, nope. <laughs> the Evil Dead, nope. <laughs> and Halloween, also no. So out of 10, I've seen one, which is like, hey, that's at least something, but like, <laughs> they're so cute, I love them. <laughs> Oh, cute, cute. All right. Oh, that's ominous. <laughs> it's a coffin. Why do we have a coffin? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, maybe it... Because there's an item in the coffin. I love this. I don't think this is on here. Sorry, that was loud. I don't think this is on our, our spoiler card, but um, excuse me, I want to stitch something and finish it on here. <gasps> Do you know what this would be? This would be cool to turn into one of those like, like a little traveling hmm, sewing kit. Anyway, in there was this key ring. No, this is a fob. And this is from Squid Game. This is designed by the Black Needle Society. Use this Squid Game inspired scissor fob to easily locate your scissors if they stray too far from their resting place. We recommend using this coffin, co coffin, coffin, um, packaging for scissor storage too. Oh, that's such a good idea. I've not seen Squid Game. This is cute though. I like the colors. Um, scissor storage in the coffin. I need bat scissors now. Tiny, tiny things that have amused my mind. <gasps> Another one. Okay. I also have not seen this TV show, which is probably going to get a little bit, a, a, a few people upset. I tried an episode. It's just not my thing. Um, and that is from Stranger Things. Um, this is the Hellfire Club accessory tray made by North to South Designs. Whether you're headed to the Dungeons and Dragons Club from Stranger Things or your local stitching group, be, be sure to take along this tray. It's meant to be used as a dice tray for D&D gameplay, but we love, uh, we love it to keep our stitching accessories safe. I love these. I have one from the Black Needle Society also. Um, I love it. It is so handy just to have next to you. Well, that is not going in properly. Let's hope that doesn't pop out. Um, they're so handy to have next to you, like on the arm of your couch or like your stitching chair, if it's got wide enough arms, just to have everything in there so it doesn't roll off. The amount of times my scissors have like rolled into the side of the couch that causes, you know, potential blood loss. Um, I love these. Cute. Like I said, I haven't seen Stranger Things, but I really like this. Love it. All right, we have a couple of things left. The first one is in packaging, and this is new to me. I've heard of them, and I went to order from them, but shipping to Australia was just not going to happen. It was just all ridiculous. However, I am so, so excited for these. And these, this is the thread for this box. 
and it is the American Horror Story Thread Pack by Night Stalker Calling. Um, we asked John and Emily to dream up a set of threads inspired by some of their favorite seasons of American Horror Story. Is your favorite season represented in here? Oh, I also have not seen American Horror Story. <laughs> um, so this is Freak Show. Like, it's so, so pretty. Um, this is Cult. Oh, this is stunning. This is Roanoke. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, this is Double Feature. And this, I think this is my favorite. This is called Apocalypse. So, so pretty. Like, stunning. Stunning. All right. More blood wormies. Oh my god, they're on the floor. Don't fall on the floor. Oh, this. This is beautiful. Okay, this is the fabric in this box. And it's by Be Stitch Me. And it's called Nightmarish. It's, you know what? I love a purple fabric. Like, probably 40% of the fabric in my drawer, top drawer, is purple. Because purple is my favorite color. The first, I've never used Be Stitch Me before. The first piece I got was in a Frogwoods box. And this is my second piece. And holy cannoli, this color. <gasps> Look it, at it. It's beautiful. So this is Nightmarish Nevermore fabric. This is by Be Stitch Me. Wednesday may be full of woe, but her classmates school uniforms are bringing us all the joy with their bold indigo. We asked Brandy cr to create a fabric inspired by the vivid colors of Nevermore Academy and we love it. I, I, I love this. This is, this is beautiful. Oh, I love it. And this is the 16 count Ada, um, which is what I normally get in my black needle boxes. Um, however, tune into next week's, um, next week's regular flush tube video. <laughs> um, I, this is stunning. Oh, this is going to need something special on it. That's definitely not a, I can just use this for anything piece of fabric. It's a, I need something special on that. Okay. I'm going to take this out of the plastic and I do apologize that it is a lot of crinkling. I... Um, this is a project bag and it is beautiful. I believe this is Sabrina, the new Sabrina. Yep. Yeah, this is the chilling adventures of Sabrina project bag artwork by Ju June page art. Keep your spellcraft. We mean stitchcraft supplies safe in this project bag, especially with the weird sisters lurking around the Academy of unseen arts. This, I also haven't seen Sabrina. This is absolutely stunning. Um, it's the same, same on the other side and then the inside is black, but this is just stunning. That's so, so pretty. So pretty. Okay. And the final item in this box is the chart. I'm going to move the box out of the way. I'm keeping this box because it's so cute hope I didn't just flash everyone my address. That would be awkward. Um, and the designer for this box was Lola Crow Cross Stitch. And I love Lola Crow probably just behind. Um, she's probably my second favorite after the Witchy Stitcher. Um, however, this chart. So this is Monster Movie Night by Lola Crow. We are thrilled to send this movie room um, inspired, uh, inspired design from Amy. She's included references to what we do in the shadows, interview with a vampire, Beetlejuice, Ghostbusters, Hocus Pocus, the nightmare before Christmas, evil dead, the Adams family, poltergeist, Buffy, the vampire slayer, Wednesday, yellow jackets, Sandman, Dracula, and stranger things. Can you spot them all? Now I may need to st stitch this twice. One for me and one for my bestie. <laughs> Um, it is so cool. 
so so cool um it's 160 by 170 um oh there's a blurb on the inside uh it is all using dmc um the um the test stitch was done on Erie Damask by Fabric Flare. Um, and there's a little there's a little blurb on the inside which I love. Oh my god, I can't wait for that. I don't need to start another chart right now. Um, so that is everything in the Black Needle Society trick box. <sighs> love it. Love me the spooky. Um, God, I'm obsessed with that fabric. I don't need a new start on that fabric. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Um, I, yeah, this is next level. If honestly, black needle Halloween boxes are probably one of my favorite things. Um, and this packaging this year is just absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Um, the overstock items from this box should be available on the 1st of November in the Black Needle Society vault. Um, if you do want any uh, any of the overstock, if there's any left, I'm not sure. There should be, but who knows. Um, I know there was a couple of extra boxes left over and they sold out like straight away. Um, but for any of the overstock items, if there are any, they will be available in the vault on the 1st of November. Um, if you do purchase anything from the vault, use my code stitchbyliz5 to get yourself a discount. I will be in the vault because I want the needle miner from the treat box. <laughs> um, and there's a couple of other things that I've been eyeing in the vault that I don't have. Um, so, yes. Get in before everything disappears. <laughs> anyway. I am going to go and get myself into some cozy gear and continue stitching for 24 hours of cross stitch. I'm about 15 hours in and about 860 stitches from finishing the project I started on Friday. So I want to get it done because it was a new start and it was just an impulse start. So on that note, Thank you so much for watching. Do all the YouTubey things like comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.